September is going to be a busy month for us. Three things. Family moving house. The van's going in for a new interior. And Louis gets a sister. A baby sister. Don't eat the sheep poo. Good boy, Louis. Good boy, Louis. Good boy. Good boy. No, 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 no. Good boy. Come here. <laughs> What's all that about, eh? You're not a sheepdog, are you? <laughs> good lad. That's a really good boy. Go on. Let's leave him to it. So September is going to be a busy month, <clears throat> a busy month for three things really. First of all, we hope to be moving, finally moving, it's taking a while to get all the documents and everything sorted so <clears throat> mid-September we should be moving up to the North York Malls. So this will be our background, our playground, not much change really, we're up here nearly every weekend as we are today. So uh, instead of driving up here we just be able to up out the front of the back door and be up on the moors. Second bit of news, camper van. There's going to be some changes to the old crafter, the whippy bus. After uh, visiting Joe and Adi at All Things Timber and the quality of their work, I booked in. So the whippy bus is going to have a full interior um, and that's going to be done in September as well middle to the end of September I think and he'll need that for four to five maybe six weeks to get all that sorted so moving house getting the camper van altered new interior to the camper van probably the same sort of layout just done differently out of different materials and their fantastic quality what they offer from all things timber if you haven't seen my last video check it out it's amazing the work they do there and the third thing, which you're really excited about, is Louis getting a sister. Woo, Louis, you getting a sister? Louis getting a sister. Yep, I've been looking for a long time for another whippet. And uh, I've never had a female whippet. And Joe has always fancied a female whippet as well. We've always had male dogs, not just whippets, but all my life have been male dogs. So I've been searching the internet high and low because we always rescue dogs. We think there's enough dogs in the world. Let's rescue one and give them a great home. But we couldn't find a female whippet. There just wasn't any anywhere. So, we're getting a puppy. Oh yes, we're getting a puppy. Have a look at the pictures of that puppy. Puppy 
Rosie is only two weeks old at the moment and even her eyes are open. So we've been to visit her, been to visit the breeders and the parents and the rest of the litter and they are adorable, absolutely adorable. I thought Joe was going to steal them all and run away. So we put a deposit on Rosie, we think we're calling her Rosie, and uh, in another six weeks, when she's about eight weeks old, she'll be coming home with us. And by that time, we'll be in the new house. So she'll have a great time learning all the new skills. And I'm going to video it all and document it all. Now, I've never had a puppy before, so I've never had a female dog, and I've never had a puppy. So it'll be a learning process for me about toilet training, and training from a puppy. Louis was just over one when we got him and he trained really quick um, but he had some basic training before we actually got him we just built upon that but this will be complete fresh start new puppy no training as soon as she's old enough she'll be moving across the North York Moors with us and we'll start the training and you can uh, follow our adventures with Louis, Joe and I of our journey through a training and what she gets up to in the Whippet bus and the rest of us. So as part of the van being altered, we're hoping we're going to get a slightly bigger bed into the van. But slightly wider, so we can fit a Whippet in. Another Whippet in. <clears throat> so exciting times. So September is going to be a major month for us. We'll get as many videos out as we can over that period of time. But once we settle down and after September, once we're in the house and got the move and unboxed everything, and there's a load of work to be done on the house as well. We'll start to produce videos of what we're getting up to and our move to the North York Moors. And of course, Rosie. And I've also asked Eddie and Joe from All Things Timber because they'll take some photographs and video snips of the build of the camper van. So we'll be able to join those in as well. But just up on the moors, it's a bit overcast today, a bit misty. There's nobody about. Got the full place to ourselves. So we're just off to a lo lovely walk with Louis. So Rosie's mum and dad um, are both 17 inches tall. She's quite small for a whippet, still within the parameters of a whippet. Her, da her dad's kennel could registered and uh, it's the second litter the mother has had and there was nine puppies in the litter. So there's probably the size of mice when they was born and now two weeks on they're about the size of a small guinea pig. <clears throat> Our eyes are still not open. We found Rosie's breeder on the internet and we went through a registered site. I'll put a link below. She is blue and white or black and white and I think it's really interesting about puppies, whippet puppies, is that the faces are real squashed up and small and of course they're not by nature and as they grow over the weeks you'll see the nose extend and we get those distinctive features of a whippet. But she very much looks like a guinea pig at the moment and they're just all huggled together to keep warm and feeding off a mum who's got nine of them to feed so 17 inch whippet lovely dainty thing give birth to nine whippets and she's feeding them all quite a look. so obviously we're really looking forward to her coming home can't wait and uh, in the midst of everything else that's going on so september's going to be an interesting time for us this is one of those areas that uh, you've got all this traffic and everything going on here on the Whitby Road. You've got the beginning of Gothland there in a park up and just before you get to it you've got this open moorland where I haven't seen anybody today. We've had it all to ourselves. It's been lovely and if you're lucky you get to see a steam train going by as well. We haven't seen that yet though. There he's just spotted a rabbit. Thankfully he was on his lead. <laughs> Come on Luke, good boy. 
So here we are back at the van. It's time for a cup of tea. Hey, hello. <laughs> go on then. Oh, there you go. There you go. There's all your stuff there all lined up for you. Ready. Mm. <laughs> Shall we have a cup of tea? Shall we have a cup of tea? So as I say, changes to the camper van. So the bed staying at the same height, same place across. But uh, we've asked AD if he can make it slightly wider. So we have another whip it to accommodate soon. And probably have the switches up here the same. Lots of different lighting. Lots of different lighting options with their own independent switches. These are going to be made slightly bigger and made into cupboards. Cupboard across the back and a cupboard across there, slightly bigger again. Having a cupboard door on here, and we're having drawers down there at the bottom. A drawer and a cupboard, drawer and a cupboard. Fridge is staying the same. Drawer here for cutlery. New worktop in blue with an edging. This is going to be replaced for um, just white formica. These are going to stay roughly the same, but they're going to have cupboard doors on. And we're having the usual alteration that many people do is boxing this off so we can have more storage up here. So not great changes, but the quality of the fit out and everything will just be amazing. And this here, we're changing this. So this can pull out to have the toilet in because it's in there at the moment. You have to lift it up so we can pull that out to make it easier. There's a few other tweaks and bits and pieces we're having done. But we're really looking forward to it. I think it'll just finish the van off. Oh, new roof liner as well, like a material, like a padded material on the roof instead of a carpet. And I've always said I don't like this colour of carpet, so we're having this changed as well. And these edgings will be changed, and this will obviously all fit into the cupboard that's going to be across there. There's a big storage area. And... Uh, so apart from that, much the same really. We're probably not going to have this TV here. We have a TV in the back and we don't use this one. So we might have some shelves or a cupboard there or something. But yeah, we're really looking forward to getting that done. Out we, Lou. Hey. Chips goes about a seven. What do you reckon, Louis? Hmm? <laughs> You'll get some, don't worry.